Hello, guten tag. I am here in Berlin and I gotta tell you, it feels so good. I've been with you in pretty much all of China, a little bit in the United States of America, and now I'm finally in somewhere new, not just new to me, but new to Neo, of course. Um, but you know, I've actually been in, I've been in Germany already a week, and I just got to Berlin today. And somehow, I don't know how, I've never been to this city before in my life. I've been to Europe so many times. And the vibes here are so good. Except I'm, I'm about to get myself run over by some cars here because I don't know where I'm walking to. There we go. Anyway, I've only just gotten here and the vibes are super good. I don't know what it is about this place, but I feel good and I feel happy. I don't know if you remember this, you probably don't, but there was a time when I went to Qingdao in China for the first time, shared it with you. And I was like, damn, this place is a place I could live. This is an absolutely fantastic city. And here I am in Berlin, and I'm feeling the exact same way. It feels super, or should I say uber, multicultural. I say that as like a Muslim woman, probably from Turkey or something, walks past. But, like literally, like everywhere I've gone so far, in the couple hours I've been here, it's just people from all over. I went through the uh, gay neighborhood, or uh, LGBTQ neighborhood, or whatever they call it. Uh, it's like Castro, but like on steroids. There's like rainbow flags and stuff everywhere and everybody looks so happy and welcoming. And man, I'm just stoked. When I left China, I was in the Hong Kong airport and I remember I was kind of like, kind of down, you know, a little bit maybe depressed even. And I was saying like, right now I have to make a choice. A choice to either stay in China or a choice to be a member of the rest of the world. And I made the choice to be a member of the rest of the world. And there are lots of things I do miss about China. There's people I miss in China. I miss my dog, of course. I miss so many things about China, but man, I'm certain I made the right choice to leave China when I did, because they're still doing lockdowns. In Sichuan Banna, where I used to have a restaurant, they're locking people down. There's videos of people being stuck in the airport. It's just terrible. And instead I'm here, about to attend Neo's event for their huge launch party here in Berlin. So uh, I'm gonna go actually right now and see what's over there at the location of the launch party uh, because the launch party is tomorrow. Hopefully we can see some cars, some decoration, just like Neo Day last year and Neo Day in Chengdu when I took you guys there. So follow me, let's go enjoy a walk through Berlin and see what Neo has in store for us. I feel like the city is like such a antithesis to China. Like it's like the opposite of what China is. And so I feel like this must be just like a really great choice for a city for Neo to introduce themselves to the world as a not Chinese brand as a global international kind of brand that they want to be oh wait I was wrong apparently Berlin is just like China they got concrete ping-pong tables in the park turns out we aren't so different after all are we all right so I just walked to where Neo's event will be tomorrow here at uh, Tempelodrome, I guess it is. They're setting up everything, so I don't think I can see much today. There's an EP9 up there. Looks like some weird Masonic temple or something. They're gonna have a, a big cult meeting. We're all gonna drink some Kool-Aid, which, hey, we probably already do. But we're not quite as bad as Tesla guys, are we? Not quite yet. Wait till everybody gets their cars and they'll become like Tesla boys. Ooh, there's the um, concept car, the Eve, right there. So it's hard to tell what we got here, but I think this is an ET5, if I'm not mistaken. And this is definitely an ET7. Again, hard to tell. The cars are all covered. Sorry, people. I was hoping we could see more. So we got ET5, ET7, and we got ES7 back there. So it looks like they're bringing all of their NT 2.0 platform cars here, which I think was well known already. Any cars around here? Neo Berlin. 
Okay. All right, so I just kind of got kicked out. The guy just kind of told me, hey, mister, don't film here. So I guess that's that for filming pre-event Neo stuff. Let's walk around these streets and see if there's any Neos parked around. So I see a Neo over here because I can see. Oh, look, Neo has a, also a yeah, Mercedes van. But anyway, I see an ET7 over here. I can see the LiDAR sticking up. Oh, there's two of them. There we go. Looking pretty sharp over here. It's kind of cool seeing Neos in, uh, not in China, in real life. Let's see if you can get out. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of these in the future, a lot more Neos cruising around the streets of Germany and Europe in general. You can do it, buddy. And he made it out. So this ET7 has the Chinese on the back. I wonder if they're going to keep that Chinese badging here in Europe. I don't know. Let's take a look at the other one. Ah, this one doesn't have the Chinese badging. Cool. I certainly hope this is for tomorrow because I would love to have a beer. Here comes the ET7. They're pulling out. Are they coming? Oh, here it comes. Beauty. Get used to seeing a lot more of those on the road if you're a European. They're coming for you, Tesla. This is a made in Berlin Model Y right there. How's that compare to your ET7, huh? Hmm, not quite the same. But that's cool. First time seeing a Model Y made in Berlin. So as I said in my prediction video, I don't think there's gonna be anything too surprising here at the launch in Berlin. I don't think there's gonna be any ES8s or ES6s or EC6s. None of the version 1.0 platform cars, which I think we all already knew. But uh, it doesn't look like there's any even like on display. There's the Neo Eve and then there's the EP9 and then ES7 SUV and EC ET7 and ET5. So uh, that's what we're going to get tomorrow and uh, be ready for it. All right, so we came and we saw and we didn't conquer. We got kicked out, but uh, good. I'm ready for tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. I do think it's going to be a wildly successful event. I know Neo knows how to put on a good party. I've been to a couple of them, Neo Day twice in China. I've been to the Neo Track Day event also in China. So I know they're going to give us a good time and I'm sure the Germans know how to party right so hopefully there's lots of uh, beer on tap and uh, we'll see what happens anyway time to go grub I need myself a kebab a donor kebab if I can find one seems like they're all gone now earlier I passed by about a hundred of them guess I gotta walk back to where I came from all right bye